In this video, we will show you how to replace your Bank One Sensor 2 O2 sensor on this Toyota Sienna. This will be located under your vehicle and the connector is located inside of the passenger compartment. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. We'll have to make our way inside the passenger compartment. Just underneath the driver's side dash, you're going to find a plastic panel. We'll start by removing this plastic panel and then we'll tug this one out of the way to gain access to our wiring harness for our Bank One Sensor 2 O2 sensor. Now for this panel, you'll find that you have one push clip holding it in place. To remove it, typically you can just grab onto the panel itself and give it a little tug. That'll pull it out. There we go. Continuing on from here, we'll take hold of that panel and give it a loving tug straight forward. There goes that other push clip. That's okay. We we're going to remove that anyway. There's our panel. Now, as I mentioned, there was a push clip here. Ours popped out during the removal process of that panel. Now you can continue on to giving this a tug as needed. The wiring harness makes its way right down along this area up and behind. At this point, we can move that panel around and we can gain access to the wiring harness and the electrical connector for our O2 sensor. The locking tab for this is down along the bottom. You just wanna go ahead and squeeze that in. A quick inspection of both sides of that electrical connector. You wanna make sure you don't see any corrosion. Continuing from there, we're going to follow the wiring harness down underneath the carpet here. You're going to find a rubber grommet. We wanna make sure we press this down and through the body of the vehicle, out towards the ground. Now we can start removing the rubber plug that goes through the body of the vehicle here. For this, we'll just use a small prying device. Typically, you can just press this right down and through. You can also use a trim tool if necessary. We'll go ahead and rest this here and we can make our way under the vehicle. As we start making our way along the backside of the engine compartment, just along the top of your rear drive shaft is where you're going to find your O2 sensor and the wiring harness. You can see that starting to come down through the floorboard there. We'll just pull it right on through. Now, if you were to follow this wire up to the body of the vehicle, you're going to find a singular mounting point. Just go ahead and pop that free from the body of the vehicle. Let's pop that right out of there. We'll finish removing that from the wiring harness over at the bench. The next thing we'll do is continue to remove that O2 sensor from the exhaust pipe. For this, we're going to use an O2 sensor socket. On the bench, we have to remove our plastic bracket. To remove this, if you were to look underneath this, you're going to find a locking tab. Right in there. Just wanna to try to make your way in between. Carefully move that locking tab away from the wire tie area. And now we can start separating this. Let's come in here. I'm just gonna to try to pull that right on out of there. A quick inspection of that, make sure it is still reusable. There it is, friend. Now it's time to prepare our brand new O2 sensor for installation. We wanna make sure we have our mounting point for that wiring harness in place. Slide that right on through, make sure it's locked into position. Give it a nice tug. Let's get this over to the vehicle. Before we go ahead and install our brand new O2 sensor, let's clean and inspect the exhaust pipe where the O2 sensor will go. We'll use a piece of fine sandpaper for this, a light scuffing. You also wanna inspect the threaded area, make sure it doesn't look like they're rotted and damaged in any way. Now we can install our brand new Bank One Sensor 2 O2 sensor. We'll start with the O2 sensor. Get that right in the hole. Make sure you start it in by hand. Once you do have it started in, you can go ahead and snug it up and I'm going to torque this to 30 foot pounds. Not much room in here. Get our wiring over 
We'll make sure we secure the wiring harness with our mounting point there. Line it up, press it in. Now it's time for the rest of our cable. We'll slide that up and through the body of the vehicle. Now as we start pressing this up through the body of the vehicle, we need to make sure that we secure our rubber grommet. There we are. At this point, everything underneath the vehicle is fully installed. We just need to do one last inspection to make sure everything's fully mounted and secured so nothing will get caught or damaged. Once you've completed that, make your way safely out from under the vehicle. Now up in here, we've got our electrical connector. We just wanna make sure we press that in. Listen for a click from that. We'll give it a little tug to make sure it's properly secure. And we'll just tuck the wiring in and underneath the carpeting. While doing that, we want to pay attention to our rubber grommet. Just make sure that's completely seated. You don't want any moisture making its way up in here. One last inspection in this area and we'll continue on with our plastic panel. For this panel, we want to make sure we align it with its locking tabs. We'll press that straight rearward to lock it in. Once you do have that aligned, continue on with your two push pins, one for each of these panels. Okay. Okay, friend, we finished the installation of our Bank One Sensor 2 O2 sensor. At this point, you want to go ahead and start up the vehicle, let it run, make sure you have no check engine light, take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.